Uh, check, check, check. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, we're good. You want me to you're exactly saying, reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. A new one told story. It's a fresh big untold story. A new untold story, episode three forty-two. Episode three fifty-three. We're looking at a brand new area code. What do you southwestern mean? and south central Wisconsin? What do you mean by brand new? The six hundred eight or whatever the first one was. It's it's almost taken up. So need more numbers. Wow. Yes. So. That's the area code, 353, cool. Madison, cool. Lacrosse, Waukesi. They're going to get me. They're going to get me. Uh, pronunciation. Sock City. Ooh. Uh, nice. So Madison and Lacrosse are the primary cities. Okay. Yeah. You want me to continue? That's it. Yeah, continue. All right, cool. Uh, I have to read an ad that can't be on YouTube. Sorry, YouTubers. Madison Beer and Duke Lacrosse. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, you want me to get? Yeah. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. Um, what's I'm up? not advocating for sobriety, but fellow ambiverts, do not develop a cannabis habit. Ambivert. Ambiverts. Are those intro or introverts and extra? It will, yeah. Getting off it has been a bitch, but I feel so much better now. Are you completely? The desire off? to interact with people has come back. I flushed all my zaza too. I had a We're episode. Off. Yeah, it's just I didn't realize what it was doing to me. But we're feeling good. Like I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm happy for you, man. Are right. you? You're falling asleep normally? No. Oh. Still no, but it's getting better and better. And it's what's well, it just happened to overlap with my anal itch itching yeah. is at its peak. But I yeah. thought you just got the cream. I got the Paracura, which is a miracle worker, but it can only do so much. <laughs> it's still dry. It's still burning. Is it specifically for an asshole? Paracura? Yeah, it's rave reviews. Shout out to that. I think it's just a new development out of Minnesota. And people have been asking, what can I do about my rectal itch? What can I do about my rectal itch? Uh, Preparation H isn't doing shit. Yeah, it's not. Vaseline isn't doing shit. Yeah, of course. Paracura is going to be your friend. And how much are you applying a day? Way too much. It says pea size. I'm going about, I'm going like black eye pea size. Like, <laughs> will I am? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wear so will much. I am size glob in your ass. And um, I'm so afraid because I, when I'm over, when I'm like, I'm waking up every 45 minutes because of withdrawing from weed. And by the way, withdrawing from weed overlapping with my peak rectal itch, I did have that on my 2023 bingo card. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. And last night I fucking ordered, I had to Instacart late night, uh, like an ice cube tray and z -Quil. You had a, did you have to sleep with an ice cube in your ass? I want just to, to <laughs> just in case, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> and so you yeah. can sleep through it right are you scratching your ass bare like no your bare it's ass so, finger to hole well the people in my position uh, th we're not going to continue with this we're not going to continue with this but paracure will be your friend why are, well i, I kind of want to continue are you scratching bare you have to sometimes <laughs> and the more you do it the better it feels <laughs> but then that's it's like a fucking catch-22 and then it just tears it up, and but we're we're on the right. <laughs> that index finger is looking like Stanley Yeelnats, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. That's it. That's all I got on that. All right. Well, how's your asshole feel today? It's getting better and better. I went to the gym before this, which is a new tactic. Okay. To like, uh, it makes me feel better when I'm podcasting to do something harder than podcasting right before. Which is anything. My, <laughs> not my, really. Mine mentally, was walking not. in here. Not mentally, it's not. Um, I did Anna Nicole's until my forearms croaked. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, kind of spoilery, but like we were supposed to do this episode from Nimrod Street. Uh, Brawley wasn't feeling it today. 
So, uh, yeah, it was in the works and it's still in the works. Still in the works. We're going to go out to Nimrod Street. Um, but for like being such a good sport, we were going to try to get him something. And we were going to try to get him a game system. And I had Mook DM him like, hey, man, do you game? And Brawley just answered, I can't move my hands. He <laughs> says, I can't fucking move my hands, bro. <laughs> I guess he mouthed that. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so we owned you. Yeah. But he said he does game. He has an adaptive controller. Yeah. Like Xbox does that adaptive controller. Yeah. It, like. Is it Xbox that does it? Xbox, PlayStation, I think they all have them. Okay. Um, but it looks like a DJ set. It looks like a turntable kind of, oh, kind cool. of situation. Yeah. So we, maybe we get him a VR headset. Bottom line is we're getting him a gift. We just yeah, got to figure out get, what he what can do enjoy. You get him? Yeah. What do you get a What do you get for the quad on Nimrod? <laughs> no. The only thing I come up with is a painting. <laughs> yeah, come on, dog. <laughs> I mean, it was <laughs> It's not the best idea, but he he can look at a painting. I mean, what about a, I mean, we've put a big ass TV. Hell. Yeah, that'll work I'll get too. him. A, I'll get him a TV. We'll a get him computer. a TV. Probably. Tell us what you want. No, he because we'll I don't. He he's he's too humble. He's too humble. We got to get him something good, and we're willing to chip in all of us. Yeah, yeah, and he's going to host us. And he said he said like, did he say he had like leftover pizza at his he place? He said he would buy us pizza. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. yeah. He's yeah. the man, for sure. But we'll be doing that before we. He was going to, so first off, he was going to come in today. That didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. Did you prepare? Did you, were you going to roast him again? (laughs) I started to, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. So I just scrambled and tried to write other news like a couple hours before. Okay. You want to start, you want to start with that? Yeah, sure. Um, This one blew my mind. Big congrats to Jay-Z's mom who married her longtime partner. Yes. Jay-Z's mom is a lesbian. Congrats to her on 100 problems now. (laughs) I have an idea for Jay-Z's next album name. I can't say it, but let's say what rival Kendrick Lamar's damn. Wait, it's like the opposite of a damn. I don't think I'm allowed to say it then. Am I allowed to say that word? The opposite of a damn. I'm still trying. Like the water damn. Yeah. Rhymes with Pike. Yeah, thank you, Rudy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I forgot about that. That use of that Jay-Z word says use. a lack of a father figure is the reason he turned to crime as a teen. Uh, it was probably his mom that taught him how to hit a lick. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, nah, Jay-Z's mom being a lesbian is crazy. I didn't know that at all. Yeah. I didn't even consider him having a mom. <laughs> let alone a <laughs> let alone a lesbian mom. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Is she old? <laughs> she has to be old. She has, uh, yeah, like very old because he's very old. He's fifties in his fifties. Yeah, her name is Gloria Carter. But how often do how often do lesbians have kids? He's Destiny's child. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't write that one down. Uh, I just wrote all these today, so okay. Some of these are more topical. See, these are more topical than than ever. I could okay. Uh, due to parents working from home, summer camp enrollments have been at an all time low. And experts think that this will take a big toll on kids socially. I mean, kids won't know how to make s'mores. This one's just marshmallows and chocolate. Where's Graham? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Uh, A motel owner is getting destroyed online after a guest complained about loud prostitution from a connecting room. Uh, Only for the owner to recommend earplugs. He just sent back a link to earplugs. The only people that should be recommend, recommending hormone blockers are preschool teachers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow, those are the only three I have. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I, had, I had them ready for uh, for Brawley, but uh, do you, I mean, if you nah, want? Them. Nah, nah, nah. We'll wait for him. It'll be the first time we have three people from Wheeling on the pod. <laughs> Familiar. <laughs> <with you. laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, you returned to Wheeling. I did. Yeah. Um, I just, I went back for Thursday and I came back Monday. I was, uh, in town for the Steelers softball game. Mm hmm. I, uh, we saw, yeah, I know. I don't, that, I don't run like that, dude. And I was <laughs> something. so, something happened and I shouldn't have worn the leggings, but I did. Uh, well, that was fine. The I was around was too good. many black people to have a swastika tattoo on my leg. <laughs> That's right. The run, I mean, yeah, it's, it was I think my, hit. I think my hat was, uh, what yeah. was that? <laughs> What? You ran like 
Keep on like the manga kid who who was running from the anime kid. You ran like the kid, <laughs> the manga kid who just got unfrozen for the first time in tag. I was running like I, I was running. Yeah, only one arm was doing a thing while the other one was good form. Half of my body was good form. Half of it was. And bad. Did, they, did they throw your ass at shortstop? Yeah, uh, second. Okay. I, I was in the lineup for shortstop, but Jerry took it. Um, but then there was like just a lot of lefties on the Steelers team, so I had a fielding yeah. error. But that thing was uh, coming that's what in I was fast. Worried about. Yeah, those are hard to catch. But only one error for me. Everybody else was, yeah. But that's we lost bad. by 10. Yeah, that's not All great. the athletes on our team dropped out the day of. Matthew Judon and um, yeah, Kenneth we Walker so was, were supposed to be girls. on my team. So I just had girls on the team. Yeah. Some two chicks from uh, a real, different reality shows. A girl from A Love is Blind. A girl from yeah. Perfect Match. Nah. Yeah, they can't be good. They weren't great. They weren't great. Neither. Uh, I one football player. I was playing on second, so I was trying to like talk and make jokes. And I won't say what football player it is. Um, but he didn't like the. It, it had been delayed to rain, and then we came out there, and there was a double rainbow. This guy hit a double, and um, he he was a fast runner, but he was winded. He was. I won't say who it is, but he was winded after the run. He was, it was like he was running for miles. And um, <laughs> I was like, dude, do you see that rainbow? And he was like, yeah, man. And I said, I don't. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, he did man. not fuck he with, didn't that, fuck at with that at all. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But that was cool. Uh, and then the day before the day before uh, Jerry invited me to like a box at a pirate game. And I got to bring my dad, and that was cool. We made the we made the Tron, dude. Oh, what you did you like? What you do? I was on the jumbotron for two seconds, but it was with Pat Fryermuth, so everybody started yelling "Muth," and then just I got one person tweeting at me. They were just like, "Hey, man, don't worry about it. You weren't awkward at all." At all. I was like, "Oh, fuck." That's like that's the only thing in my head. As soon as the game starts, is what I would do if it came on me. <laughs> yeah what wait what is your jumbotron what would you, i don't what would you, i don't i still don't have one you'd be you'd, you would panic i would try panic. to be a beer chug guy yeah <laughs> yeah i would chug a beer i would just like make out <laughs> like a real sloppy make out yeah. it cuts to somebody else goes back to you you're still making out <laughs> i would have, would have to <laughs> shit now you try to do something fucking that you've never like. You try to heel click. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was cool though. It was a fun experience. Glad I got to do it. it was for charity. Love charity. Uh, yeah, I've been fucking with those guys more and more. Yeah, especially as I get older. Yeah, for sure. It's just important. It's like why not? Why so, not? Yeah, and I, I always, I always give a little bit more than you. But I like that you're doing it too. <laughs> well, you don't know what charities I'm giving to. What are you giving or to? Or you should. I make all of mine public <laughs> if you're on my Venmo. Why the fuck am I donating to Operation Smile if there's no share tweet yeah, button? No, come on. I s- Nick, uh, Mook. <laughs> When's the last time you've given? <laughs> <laughs> Be honest. Uh, oh, I give every year to a 9 11 charity run. That goes to a run yeah, for the cure. The run for, yeah, what, what is that? Cure to terrorism. The cure, the cure for the cure 9/11. to nine eleven. Yeah. <laughs> we got to uh, cure this thing, man. <laughs> no, it's uh, a buddy of mine's aunt uh, died nine eleven, and she was from Northeast Philly. So every year they host a run, and uh, the proceeds go to Northeast Philly High School. I like it how they like. It's always like let's fucking run for miles. Instead of just like let's have like having like a dessert feast, yeah, yeah, I would pay for that. That's like a beef and beer type of situation. A what? A beef and beer? Like something horrible happened, something that everyone hates happened, and then to to, to raise money, we're going to do something that everyone hates. Yes. Yeah. Instead of like, um, like I think a video it, game tournament. M- misery loves company. So if this person's dying of cancer, you're going to like run and get like a stitch in your side for a little bit. Yeah. Like, damn, like I feel for them. <laughs> I feel for them. Penn State mm-hmm. thong. They make you stand on your feet for 48 hours. Wait, what is that shit? I did it in high school. We it's called like Penn mini- State thong. thong. I know like yeah. people have like, they'll get, they'll take it personally if I talk shit on. Oh, it's like, like a, their life. It's a cult. Yeah. People make it their entire personality. But when I got a C and D from Phi Sig, like they're like, you can make up for this. <laughs> I hate that that sounds true. <laughs> I hate that, that sounds true. <laughs> you can make up for this by donating to Tron. Yeah. And talk, yeah no. Um, 
I mean, I would, but <laughs> not under that's not no, 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 no. You to. just back just you're going to be participating in it Fuck next year. Yeah, that's the that's the last. That's what you, you've given though. I've given, yeah. I want to. No, I, I, dude, don't even. I'm sorry, we put you on. I give enough for the both of us. So it's not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're good, man. Honestly, take the credit. I don't even care. I'm down. Cool, yeah. Rudy. You move soon. Yeah. You, are you packed? No, not at all. Okay. I packed up some clothes. Your That's apartment it. is fucking sick. You don't have walls. It's all glass. So yeah, it looks like a museum. Wait, and what are you going to do to it? it? Looks like an aquarium. Yeah, I have no some idea. Spice. I haven't had to interior decorate since I've lived in New York. So I don't know what to get. Do you have any nudity on your wall? He Currently? has to. You, you have, have to. to. <laughs> yeah, like tasteful. No, I don't. No, I don't. you have, you have to. You have you have, you have a tit or yeah. A tit. It's always like I do not it's have always a tit. like the most. It's yeah. like the it's the like the most. The tasteful pussy on the wall is like is this like side pussy like how it? It's like a it, no. It's like it's like a old school boob. It's oh, like a draw, you have hand that? drawn old school boob. You no, have that. I actually go. Common, yeah, I think I I actually go even more beyond that. I think a boob would be. I have like a just a drawing of like a woman's face. Okay. And I think that's honestly like more creepy than a boob. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like almost like. I think if somebody, if my apartment was like preserved, let's say like Pompeii happened and everything's covered in ash and mine was like, they cracked open the door and they explored it 4,000 years in the future. Uh -huh. They, historians would debate if women existed back then. There's no <laughs> signs of women life. Like there's no. no, I don't have any music with women, no records with women singers. I don't have any posters with a single woman on it. They probably just thought it was men, uh, stegosaurus and uh, like wiggly tough. Yeah. The only thing that possibly could hint at it would be if they found your skateboards and mistaken it for a paddle. Maybe that's the mm. huge stretch that there's nothing they could look if my TV was still working they could look at my recently watched movies it's just Lawrence of Arabia <laughs> there's no sign of women they would have found your 3D printer and thought that you were trying to make a make, woman make because there were none left because that's the first thing I tried to make I never got that built and I just had to get rid of it because I'm moving <laughs> soon and it's just oh it's just a waste yeah fuck my my entire mind though on moving has been trying to figure out how to get my PC moved and it's not easy. It's like very delicate. You probably piece. have to buy like a wooden box. I might have to do that. I mean, there's definitely like very expensive. Like well, you can get like a Pelican case for like $400, but I'm putting like, I'm making like chemical reactions happen. I have to get this thing called Instapack and you like crack it like a glow stick and, and it, it like expands. So I have to put that like inside foam? the PC, but there's like, it does it very quickly. So then I got to put the glass back on it and then I got to put that in a box and I put bumpers on it. That's and, insane. And then I put that box inside of another box. And it's still going to break. Yeah. And I also just realized I have a fucking telescope. I forgot I had a telescope. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to pack the telescope, but it's I, impossible to own a telescope without looking creepy. A hundred percent. Yeah. Cause that's what I would do is look into windows, hope to catch people fucking. Yeah, but I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, I, I asked for a telescope because my old apartment had a really good view of the water and I legitimately like to just like look through the telescope and everything. And I thought it was going to be like a little telescope. My mom got me like a like a lunar grade planetary telescope. This thing, you can see the pores on people's faces. <laughs> So that's crazy. what you are doing. You're looking at faces with it instead of the on stars? the street on the well, in New York City. I can't look at the stars. There's there's so too much light you, pollution. So having a telescope in Manhattan, there's or New too York much City light pollution to strictly see a to look star. at people. Yeah. Yep. And, and you have one powerful enough that like pull. like the uh, uh, if you caught a man's urethra, it would look like a Guatemalan sinkhole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, it's it's intense. I just kind of stopped doing it because I was like, I don't want to be this guy. But the, just by de facto, a lot of windows. It, are just open to look into in New York. I think that's a, like a thing, a fed, an exhibitionist thing, or mm -hmm. maybe they want to be caught fucking. Has anybody ever caught you fucking? I have just like one third of like a, of like a painting. You know those like paintings that are three pieces. A triptych. A tri one third of a triptych of the of the world map, and it it doesn't really cover. Wait, you have that in front of your window? I don't. I want. I don't care about getting caught. Fucking. That's like the fourth thing. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously care very much. No, but it's the fourth thing I'm most afraid of getting caught doing. Coming? It would be jacking off, which I don't do. Um, it's still a big fear. It's like an intrusive thing if it ever happens. Um, torturing my cat or scr scratching my asshole. 
<laughs> a, yeah, Torturing my cat is not a euphemism for jacking off. It is, it is a, me just fucking with my cat, not sexually. <laughs> Those are the three things like yeah. you want to do in the privacy. I would rather, uh, yeah, that would be less, more embarrassing than getting caught fucking. How, how animated are you when you're scratching your asshole? You don't do it discreetly? <laughs> Well, I'm not under the covers because when I'm withdrawing from weed, I'm sweaty as hell. So I, <laughs> oh my god, dude! It's been a pain. Um, yeah. <laughs> What's the longest sesh you've gone with, like a single scratch in there? I hate talking about this. You've t- you've been talking about this oh, for years. What was your line? You said well, it- the best was when I would get high. It would feel ten times better. <laughs> That was, weed scratch was like, your asshole. I would finish I would finish this podcast in I'd be like I just cannot wait like the last 20 minutes if you look at like podcast when I was on the weed you, you could see in my head I zone out I stop responding to you guys because I'm just thinking fantasizing about hitting the stizzy going home scratching my ass then eating food and then q-tipping my ears and then watching TikTok <laughs> You would like race home to scratch your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Oh man. Uh, today's episode is also brought to you by Bare Bottom Clothing. Bare Bottom is one of the most popular. Not co- mine. <laughs> it's covered in shit. <laughs> Not shit. It's covered in sh- like fucked up things. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the most popular clothing brands at Barstool. Their gear is uh, go to at the office, the home, especially when we're traveling. I wear their flannels and their tees all the time. A lot yeah, of the guys I wear, wear their tees. tees. I wear their tees. I wear their tees. I wear their tank tops. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say three tees? I was trying to, yeah. T- tees and tank tops and their joggers. <laughs> yeah. Love them. <laughs> and for their insanely comfortable stretch shorts and joggers. Bare Bottom is dropping new styles all summer long. They're built for adventure. Uh, most of their shorts and swimsuits come in five and a half and seven inch inseams. Tons of colors. You can customize the best style for you. Sold exclusively through their site. You're going right to the source of premium quality shorts and tees. Uh, for much less than the big legacy brands. For each item you purchase, Bare Bottom donates a meal to a child in need. Uh, reminds me of stuff I do. Um, get free shipping on your first purchase at barebottom, barebottomclothing.com slash story. Uh, get free shipping on your first purchase uh, when you go to barebottom, B-E-A-R, bottomclothing.com slash story. <laughs> um, you just got to get a bidet. No, I, I, I'm, I'm got the the paracura and the baby wipes are good. We're um, on the right channel. What um, you- I saved a ticked a tweet, I think, of this person. They were just like signs you have autism, and they were just things like it was it's like clicking the pens. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, no, no. no. So what we, I'm saying is like these people, no, that's not a sign of autism. We need to put out a TikTok of just like, we'll do like five things you didn't know were signs of autism. And they're just like regular. Yeah. <laughs> they're just like regular things like uh, going up uh, the steps and skipping every other step. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or just very, yeah. very basic things. People would believe that. What else? Oh, they're throwing out autism diagnosis. Like. No, uh, not like yeah. I, I saw that video. I, I want to put it in a uh, stimulation in one of our next clips. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. In a what? Like a stimulation video on the bottom of our clips. Oh, yeah, yeah. I uh, was just on Clemmer's podcast that you were just on. And I don't know if it's spoiling it. Um, hmm. Or did we did two Olympic movies. We did Miracle and The Ringer. And uh, The Ringer needs a sequel. <laughs> Bad. I kind of forget how it ended. Uh, it was it was a happy ending. It was a wholesome movie, but it was a, it was a it was a non. Oh, what do you come? Um, one of us sneaking into the Special Olympics. Story. Neurotypical. Okay. Yeah. And then um, the, I think they should do a sequel where one of those guys tries to sneak into the actual Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. <laughs> it's just the ringer too, and just like yeah. how far he gets, going yeah. up against Phelps. <laughs> I mean, the he stops Phelps by just jumping in and drinking all the pool water. <laughs> <laughs> Phelps has to sprint from one end of the pool. <laughs> um, oh yeah, <laughs> but I thought yeah when I was watching it last night for the podcast, I I was yeah. like, this needs a reverse. That we need a reverse <laughs> ringer now. Oh. There is a well that one the, the guy that you 
look like after four beers. Oh yeah, you tweeted a uh, 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 Down <laughs> syndrome <laughs> bodybuilder. Yeah. Um, and you you quote tweeted it and and said me after four Bud Lights. <laughs> But, but you sent us a picture of that bodybuilder, and I think I said, <laughs> "Oh yeah, I said that's the most dangerous mammal." Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. I was thinking, like, you know, his grip. <laughs> I mean, he's the strongest man on the bedtime. Planet, right? He doesn't want to go to bed. <laughs> bedtime is impossible. Yeah, wait. What did you say? The scenario? Would be? Like, if he's bedtime when he's not feeling it, it would be the like <laughs> hell for his caregiver. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Dude. Oh, that's strength. Yeah. Um, what? Was he in a what div, is he in like a division? Is there a crew of him? Or is uh, he, I think he's just com- compete he might be he's reverse shredded. rendering. He's shredder. He might be doing it. Yeah. Yeah, you could have some work to do. Yeah. Like physique wise, I'm sure his strength is insane. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. My grip is god god awful my grip strength you don't know how to move your fingers i just started doing anna nicole's it's and i can only do 10 and then the next set i can only do three and then i'm my grip is fucked for the rest completely shot Mm -hmm. but let's look at today in history because today is quite the day in history okay july 20th uh 1944 what happened july 20th 1944 rudy should know uh, World War II assassination Sorry. attempt of Adolf Hitler. Yeah, did you know about that? Yeah, he had an old school one, and he cut his speech short twenty minutes early. Twenty July plot. Yeah, the leader of the conspiracy, Klaus von Stauffenberg, planned to kill Hitler by detonating an explosive hidden in a briefcase. It only slightly injured him. You think that made him mad? Yeah, yeah. You think he wanted to kill Klaus von Stauffenberg? Mm-hmm. Definitely. You, how, yeah, he killed everyone. <laughs> Hitler had ordered that those found guilty should be hanged like cattle. What's Seven, hanged like cattle? Hanged like cattle. Uh, Is that like horse? beef? Like a, yeah, like a piece of beef. So they they put the hook in their ass. I don't know, but you know seventh, what that's like. They're upside down. They're, oh, they're upside uh, down. Hang by their feet. I think that's how St. Peter got crucified, too. That's right. More than 7,000 people were arrested. You'd probably love that. Yeah, let's scratch the Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, 4,980 people were executed just for having the the, the slightest connection. To oh, those. my God. Imagine 4, 000, being like 4,000 removed from him. And it's yeah, like, I have to die? Yeah, like 5,000. There's no way. Hitler was like 2,000 yeah, removed. Hitler was closer removed than some of these people, like 4,000 to 5,000. And then Claude was, I think he got an easy way out. He was executed via makeshift firing squad. What does that <laughs> mean? I don't, I don't know. That's what it said. Makeshift firing squad. Like they just gave some random people guns. I don't know. He was just shot. Hmm. That's it. Interesting stuff. Claude what else in history? Claude von Stauffenberg. CVS tried to fuck over Hitler, but he... I'm not even going to finish that. No, wait, I want to see what you're doing. He has the receipts. He had the receipts. (laughs) Uh, This is um, coincidental. 1968, the first ever Special Olympics began at Chicago Soldier Field. Um, 1,000 athletes from 26 U.S. states and Canada competed in track and swimming. Swimming had two events, uh, including 25-meter races in track and field at four, 50-yard dash, 300-yard run standing long jump and there was also it says there was also a softball throwing event <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that was <laughs> i'm assuming it was the overhand hurl not like the jenny finch windmill yeah like see how far they can just throw a softball that's cool 1969 <laughs> we have anything else to add on that i don't i don't I figured no. you, yeah yeah uh, i think that's great that that's like a very good movement that's I'm all for i'm gonna start donating the first yeah. ever the first ever. I'll refer you. I have a code. You have a code? Yeah, 20% to donate. <laughs> you have a donation code to donate? A promo code to donate? <laughs> to donate, yeah. Yeah. Um, remember Wheeling? Remember we tried to say that Wheeling, what did they have? We said a guy from Wheeling invented the curse of F. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was talking about the Special Olympics. Oh, oh. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, um, that was a while ago. Well, yeah, what do we have? We said um, something. Like, what was it? I don't know. 1969, 
moon. <laughs> the moon landing. This is all the same. Same. All that. these huge events. Well, the same. One of them, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they're 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 quite different. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And you guys know who did it, right? Who landed on the moon? Buzz Aldrin? Neil hey, Armstrong. Man. It's not the typical first person. Yeah, you say. should say Neil Armstrong. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, you went Buzz before Neil. Yeah. How would a pair how, how would Brawley do on the moon? How would Brawley do on the moon? He would succeed. That's like he's, yeah. he's a rover. Be yeah. like R2 D2. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brawley. Mm -hmm. Sit legs weak. 2012. Wait, wait, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> 2012. This is fun. The Dark Knight Rises was released in theaters. Yeah. 2012. James Holmes opened fire. Oh. This is today. This is all today. Open fire to yeah. Movie theater. We don't know that. I've been nervous in movie theaters since. Uh sports. Give me something. U.S. Open Women's Golf, Atlantic City Country Club. Sandra Palmer wins her second major title by four strokes. Sandy Palmer. Sandra Palmer. Now, what would her drink be? Um, I have a feeling you're going to say. <laughs> no, I was trying to think. I'm trying to think of something sexist. Okay. <laughs> um, try this workshop. This. Something lemonade and tea is an Arnold Palmer. So we'll get to it. What are some lemonade brands? Uh, Mike's Hard, Minute Maid, Simply. Simply. Hers would be Minute Maid <laughs> <laughs> and Blouse instead of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot in the world. <laughs> um, mine would be lyrical lemonade and tea grizzly. <laughs> oh, I, was trying, then I was trying to think of other celebrities, what their drink would be. Okay. I got like Magic Johnson would be simply, <laughs> simply, simply lemon, simply lime, and Riptide Rush. Why? There's different aids. Oh uh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Next, what will yours be? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what would I mean have to be Fago? <laughs> and um, what else? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. no! Never mind. <laughs> Come on, tell me. <laughs> I can take it. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't have any. Uh, Gibby <laughs> Norton's would be Orange Crush. <laughs> <laughs> Gibby North. Who's that? Who is that? Who's that? Gibby North. He's a, a geek who had a crush on Velma Dinky. <laughs> <laughs> it was a real stretch. <laughs> No one knows Gibby Norton. Gibby Norton doesn't even have a YouTube video. <laughs> He's in the the archives of the of the files. No one knows who Gibby Norton is. Do you have a phone? Yeah. He's a, I hate him. I hate him. Gibby and no one knows enough to hate him like me. What is he? <laughs> <laughs> Start talking about talking shit on Gibby Norton. <laughs> this, this has to be the first time he's ever been brought he's up. In no, a he has no mentions. <laughs> um, oh my god! And one other thing, um, <laughs> fucking Gibby Norton. Come on, dude. And apparently, he's like also evil. Sometimes that's what his bio says. Uh, what is sometimes it evil? He's, he's voiced by Eddie Deason. <laughs> oh. <God. laughs> That's a shitty name. It's the, same, it's, it's the same guy that voiced, voiced the annoying kid in Polar Express. Oh. Um. Gibby Norton. Fuck, fuck Gibby Norton. <laughs> he looks like a Gibby Norton. <laughs> he has such a, yeah, he has a big crush on Velma oh, Dinkley. He, it says he has done many unwise things to impress Velma. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, like the fucking uh, one Gibby Norton. Um. But Gibby helped kidnap the band Simple Plan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a event that happened. 
They, they were kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, no one even fucking knows. No uh, one gives him credit for that. Yeah. Simple plan. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh my god. Um, this guy's a real. <laughs> he's a real character, man. Yeah, I'm not done with Gibby Nord. <laughs> fucking Gibby Nord. What do we got? Good ad read, Kyle. Good ad thank read. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have one left out of that four ad show. Doing all right, guys. Oh, man. One other thing. Uh, today's episode is 353. Yeah. So I was like, let's see who the Pokemon number 353 oh. is. Oh. And it just so happens to be someone who, if I, I, I would give Dickhead of the Week to. Easily. Easily. This thing is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this thing is the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, God. Um, Pokemon number 353 is Shuppet. Oh, Shuppet's cool. Or in Japanese, Kagabozu. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Shuppet is. Oh wait, the mic. What was what was it in Japanese? Japanese uh, or Shuppet or in Japanese, Kogabuzu. <laughs> Do it in like a Japanese deep man voice. I thought I accomplished that. <gasps> Kogabuzu. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Shuppet. Uh, Do Japanese even... schoolgirl now. Kogabuzu. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, look at this thing. Do you remember what it looks like or no? Yes. Ball, spike on the head, like dress thing underneath. It, it, I mean, come on. It's like a light purplish, grayish ghost type Pokemon that looks like it looks like a boner under covers. <laughs> Not a boner in disguise, a boner under bed covers. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Um, it's like a male erection emerging from some kind, kind of like unisac or ball of dough. Has tr stupid tricolored eyes, no mouth, and that is emerging from like a melted great popsicle. Yeah. Truly the dumbest shit I've seen from the design standpoint. <laughs> no way. It evolves into Bennett, which is cool. I th it evolves into Bennett. I think. Behavior, it feeds on negative feelings, which is kind of cool. Yeah, you want to have They congregate in large numbers under the eaves of the houses of people that hold long grudges. <laughs> They enjoy pulling pranks, feeding on the feelings of sorrow or disappointment that often follow. So I like those features, those okay. character, those behavior characteristics. Yeah, you'd want but that. But we'll get on. In battle, they utilize the negative emotions they collect by pulling off moods like spite and grudge. I also like that. Yeah. And then here, here's, here, here's where it goes sour. They appear evil, but they actually act out due to their loneliness. Oh, <laughs> what? That negates anything redeeming about the characteristic as a battle warrior. They're just lonely. <laughs> They're lonely. Oh my yeah, god, so that sucks. Uh, but that's all. Uh, uh, Shop it off it now. It's like nope. a, it's a ghost puppet. Yeah, uh, I, li I like Shop it. I don't. I, I wish. I wish that wasn't the dickhead of the week. If you, if that, if you were to, it, do it, I mean, Shop it is a dickhead. It's a, just Shit, a it fucking is. stupid dick coming yeah, out of a head. God damn it. Oh my God. I thought I had something else to bring up, but I guess I don't. Connor. You're, What's up, Mookie? You were in Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama. An interesting city, so I've heard. Yeah, it was, uh, was kind of weird because it was the South, but... But like a uh, little bit of a, a nerdy element or nerdy, what nerdy but then you had the deep southern people the nerdy south yeah because there were like regular bros and then there were bros there that like you know love their guns and love jesus so it was very interesting it was a giant highway um but good people really sweet people everyone was so nice did they like your jokes they did like my jokes but they didn't like they had like weird pain points like you talk about religion and they were not about it yeah it's a bible belt you would talk about, uh, you would make fun of like Republicans and they were like, oh, nah, not mm -hmm. us, like that that type of deal. But great weekend overall, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta get down there. Yeah. Um, we got that email of uh, talent that'll be coming into the office. I didn't mean to put that in quotes. Talent, talented people that'll be coming in the office. And the other guy from Florida Georgia line is a potential. Should I answer the email and say we want him? What, is, what does that mean? He's the uh, the other one in Florida Georgia so line. Not Florida or Georgia. Yeah, it's line. What, what does he do? <laughs> he split. He divides the two. He stands. He keeps those he two guys apart. Stage. Uh, he's he. Does he he doesn't sing. Play, no, the other guy is, sings and plays guitar. That that I think this is the cute one. I, I don't know the band that well. Um, 
I'm sure that would go pretty awkwardly. I can't think of a single guest that would be good on this show. Because of us. That's because of us, yeah. Josh Potter. Josh Potter. He Brawley. was good. Brawley. But we're talking about like uh, people of like the fame of Florida Georgia yeah. line. We need them to be above the Florida Georgia line. <laughs> I don't... Who is your dream guest? Jason Derulo. Why? So he was awesome. Okay. He Genuinely. was awesome. Listen to his, any of his discography. Listen to It Girl of Trumpets. And tell me he doesn't... You, and, you look and at then yourself, like, you're smiling. Watch his music videos... That makes sense, but he wouldn't fuck with us. No. Um, no. No, he wouldn't. At all. Mm. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I think I think we're we're more capable, especially you, than we're letting mm-hmm. on. To have a normal interview, a normal comedic interview. We could do it. I want to just get your family in here. That's my dream guess. Yeah, your f- yeah. whole full hand full hand. What's going on? Full family. I, I muted them all. Uh, I think the sure. anus subreddit found Bobo knows music. Yep. Okay. Um, so they might be. Sp- I haven't even looked at the comments of that. Oh my god! It's not like our fans would spam the comments of something. The blog was sick today. What do you mean? Your sister blog today? An- she, she blogged another today. one today. Oh yeah. She's got to stop working so hard. She's making me look like a. <laughs> so yeah, people think it's you, and then they'd be like, "Wait a minute, no, Kyle would just put the blog." For, for his job on his website. You should just copy and paste your sister's blogs. She's working harder than me at my job. I read the entire thing. What is she blogging that. about? She blogged about the all of your uh, uncles and your aunt, but then talked oh, Let's about, just make the entire extended family very public. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, she blogged about the card games that you guys host every year. The Christmas card the Christmas. competitions, we we stopped, but yeah, those were epic. What 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 were the <laughs> Christmas card competitions? Um, it was a very intense, competitive, tear inducing at times Christmas card competition. Who was the funniest? There was a, a comedy category, and and I think there was just a straight up best category for aesthetics. Okay, and it was, the people would lose their minds trying to make the funniest Christmas card. <laughs> Uh, Bobo knows music. Creed Part One has 250 views. Wow, good. All right, I'm pro that. No comments. Yeah, that's fine. Seven minute long podcast. Now there's one comment. Now this is how you podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Are they doing anything else, or you have everybody? Uh, I muted? don't know. No, I don't have them muted. I'm just not checking. Yeah, they, they're all doing more content than all of us combined. I know. Come on. Oh, man. What else, boys? We have to talk about the Rage Room. Oh, the Mook room. in the Rage Room. Man, what was oh, that, Mook sent us what a video of him in a Rage Room. You glided right over that, too, when you were talking about your weekend. Yeah. You didn't say that. Yeah, uh, Sunday. Just like you glided right over that little tin cup that you were supposed to smash. Yeah, I went to a rage room. I don't have that much rage. Mm -hmm. I didn't like have it in me to like spaz out and like go crazy. Um, But I went to a rage room Sunday before my flight. Just uh, it was either that or the NASA rocket center. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go hit some shit. You chose. So yeah. what? Yeah, why did, that, why you, did you oppose uh, that? Like it fuck? was like some fucking dummy landmark. I was like, what am I? That sounds like the coolest thing ever. The NASA what? Uh, the Space and Rocket Center. Oh, the Space you... and Rocket Center. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I went to Rage and then I went to a dive bar and ate a burger. But um, yeah, man, I just don't ha- I don't have that inner rage in me to like go crazy. I swung and missed on one and tore up my wrist. And the other well, how one. Did you, what did you swung at what and missed? I swung at a, a coffee mug and I tried to go switch hitter and I rolled my wrist over and it's still fucked <laughs> oh up. Oh my God. You don't have to have inner rage at all to have just the ability to break <laughs> things. <laughs> but you failed People at. People do that on accident <laughs> yeah, all the yeah. time. I got in there and I like felt awkward. I was like, I don't want to make a mess. <sighs> you turned it into a passive aggressive room. Yeah, you, yeah, you turned it. <laughs> it's a room. Yeah. Brie Larson looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> I did fuck up a Keurig though. I went to town on a Keurig. Okay. I didn't send it to you guys, but I You beat it up with a bat? Beat the shit out of that thing. Yeah. I went one for two at my at bats as well. That's but mine were coming that's from better than some any of the most elite famer. athletes. Yeah. 
perfectly timed right every third. You guys did a rage room in where where were Buffalo. you? Buffalo. Buffalo? Yeah. None of us hurt ourselves. We, we were just we were trying sweaty to sweaty as fuck. Yeah. 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 They make you wear the whole onesie, the jumpsuit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Your hit would have went over the fence at the field that I hit my home run at. Really? Someone uh Babe Truth found it. Uh, what? On Google Somebody Earth. found your Yeah, well, I told him where it was in this like unincorporated town called Paris, PA. You'll feel I mean, if you look, you can I'm sure you can find it. And it's the it's the field that is so small. Wait, what is this picture? The birth of DJ. Oh, it's one of the cards. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that was my family. <laughs> yeah, depicting the birth. You're of... you are so over this. Yeah. I, <laughs> you did not on. play along. No. You're just in it. Oh, I hated that. <laughs> It looks like an uh, album cover. DJ was our b- little, the big brother, li- the little brother. The uh, big re- brother, big sister. Bro- rest program. in peace. Yeah, he's passed. What? Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, it's really yeah. sad. But he, um, his life was significantly better due to my parents. So we'll leave it at that. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll just read, yeah. read, I guess read an ad. <laughs> Jesus, go no, this is, don't laugh. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, a little levity. Come on. What? little levity is that a sopranos thing Uh, i think so did you ever finish that because that you loved that that was your whole entire life i don't finish uh shit that i love i just can't do it what do we have one more it's you just looked at it freaking out oh game time yeah yeah i mean all right so the for the people who still it's almost august and if you still haven't gotten tickets if you have a significant other, if you have friends, go to an event that requires tickets. I'm telling you, don't waste your life away. If you don't, go alone. I'm telling you, if you're a loner, go to an event. No one's going to judge you. That's the actual place to go alone. That's the best place to do it. And the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports is Game Time, created by fans for fans. Game Time is the ticketing app that makes it easier. Stop right now, download Game Time. For me and for you. That makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. Yeah. Hey, they guarantee it. So you're going to get the lowest price. If you're going to an event, use Game Time. Um, Drake's coming to town, but that's already over. 21 Savage, The Eagles, Bruce Springsteen, SZA, Mets, Yankees, Soccer. It's possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. Get close to the action. The purchase process just takes two taps, 10 seconds. That was like three, so like a couple breaths. <laughs> and once you buy your tickets, they're delivered discreetly, oh, directly to your phone. Um, no printer needed. Skip the hassle. Enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app, or you can go to the website. If you're on a PC right now, do that. Enter your email, redeem code UNTOLD, U-N-T-O-L-D, for $20 off your first purchase we uh you got you gave your blood today i did i gave my blood last week i'm on high i'm 100 gluten intolerant that's uh, yeah your celiac which is horrible Sucks. that's like a very severe life altering nice uh, but you found out you're fat today medically fat um my height and weight i guess makes me fat overweight what are you is that going to eat away yeah you? yes in the body <laughs> the, the body fat i don't know he just <laughs> measured my waist Took my height and weight and then, uh, yeah, come on. No. And you're 5'6"? Five, 5'7". Six? Five, there we go. Doctors have tried to tell me I'm 5'6". Had to get second opinions, third opinions. <laughs> they said 5'6". <five, six. laughs> <laughs> Not today. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. No, you're medically fat. I was afraid to go do that and figure out more stuff, but, but bl- giving blood s- scares me. So, yeah, last year at this time, or even less than a year, I... I gave blood and they're like, you're, you're at your low risk, high cholesterol. I told the dot, the guy up there today and he, you, you should have saw his face. He was like, you were, are you sure about that? Yours is sh- shockingly low. What the hell did you do? You must've made some crazy dietary and fitness changes to your life. And I said, yes. And he's like, wow. He almost shed a tear. Yeah. No, but okay. You know, <laughs> it, it went down. Are you going to lose weight? No, I'm trying to gain a little bit more. Be obese? Muscle. 
A little bit. Of, I mean, I started to start eating some BMI scales flawed. Flawed. Yeah. Healthy at any size. Most of the time. No. Most of the time. Uh, what else we got going on? Anything? Any housekeeping? Nick, you said I have a bunch of housekeeping. But oh, you said God. you had an episode on the Zaza. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. What happened? A little sleepwalking episode. But sleepwalking. I, uh, kind of. I was like really high. I thought I heard something. I pulled out my sharpest blade and was walking around. I was fucking what? freaking out. Yeah. I was having like a pain. Oh, you were asleep or you were awake? I was. I got real high, fell asleep. Off like the... a sound woke me up and I was just so disoriented. I sleep next to a blade, but it sheathed. But I unsheathed it and was walking around the house. That's in... off of the stizzies? Yeah. Yeah, those are no good. Was your partner oh. there? No. No, you were partnerless. I stabbed her. <laughs> <laughs> no longer. Um, mm, three weeks. So you're just going to stab me? <laughs> that was, that's the fucking girl, the black girl in the bear. She's like the snarkiest thing. That's everything she says. Oh, oh so, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Richie. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> she pisses me off. So yeah, me too. So it bothers me. I'm sure the actress is lovely. Um, yeah, guaranteed. Her name is like Ao. It is. Yeah. I looked it up. She's tall. She looks like she'd be short. She's tall. Is she? Like, like almost five seven. Relative. Are you, are you through? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I watched it. I finished it. Um, good show. Again, not an enjoyable watch by any means. People want any show they're watching to be deemed as the best show of all time. And if that's not, if they, if people are like, yeah, it's fine, they get furious. I mean, yeah. Why do you have to have an extreme opinion? It's good. Yeah. The only two opinions I see are it's the best show. And then now Dave it's not the best show. KFC came out and they were like, it's the worst. Show. It wasn't. Well, that's, that's exactly. the nature of Oh, here. yeah. It was, yeah. God damn. No, it's great. It's black and it's white. It's, it's white. It's here, a great show. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's stressful to watch, which I can see. Like, I don't want to do that. I'd rather watch Entourage probably. But uh, the Christmas episode was phenomenal. Entourage is getting shit on online right now, too. For what? Not knowing how to write for women. They were just like, they just told. Uh, that's so entourage. entourage is like, <laughs> that's that's entourage from the early 2000s that yeah. stopped. Oh, yeah. What's the girl's name? Sloan. They're yeah. just like, they, they just they pretty much wrote be hot on a piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get fucked by an ugly guy. E? E? Not ugly, but not. You guys quick to defend E. What yeah. the hell was that? I'm defending I'm you. defending yeah. E on his behalf. Yeah, if he's you ugly. Do, yeah. then you're <laughs> what fucked. the fuck are you? You can't be doing that. Yeah, yeah he's a redhead. Yeah, yeah he's okay. a redhead. Ugly was the wrong word, but out of his league, for sure. Sloan uh, is way out of his league. I wouldn't say. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she's, she's out of everybody. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. She's mad hot. But he's, he was a cool guy look, on the look, show. Look, look, pull up her real name, the actress. Something like. Anton Shagura Wagwa. It is a crazy name. Something yeah, like, it uh, is. What? Uh, portrayed by Emmanuel Shariki. Sure, yep. Close. Wait, what was yours? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I said the No Country for Old Men villain. Yeah. Uh, I think you did. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Easily confused. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, it's the most not made for women show ever. Right. It's, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't think you can think of a different a show that is made not that is written less for women. Um, yeah, there probably isn't. There definitely what isn't. Yeah, definitely. Chicks aren't watching Rick and Morty. Yeah, they are. I've never really? seen it, dude. Madison Beer loves Rick and Morty <laughs> for real. When it was cool, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. How do you know? Because I'm a fucking huge Madison Beer fan. Obviously. Mm. What does she do? She what Twitch she streams sing? now. She sings? I heard. I actually have some of her songs. She, yeah, she's been singing for a while, but now she's in the streaming game. Whatever happened to Nike Heaton? Nike. Oh, my God. <sighs> Goat. She was the original internet model. She was. The, she discovered or pizza, right? She discovered p eating junk food in mass. Yeah. She, kind of. She, uh, Just, she also made music, did like acoustic covers. A popular that's song. how she got that's how she started out she did a song with migos she like played the ukulele and yes. sing prettily and then she did a song like, with we? migos yes or was in a music video or both um she was the first girl to look like that she was the first yeah girl. uh there's like that subreddit now centaur girls where it's girls with like big asses like that mm -hmm. um i think and <laughs> it's she was like the first like she was like the first of the centaur girls she was the first of her breed 
Yeah, yeah. She would take. She would like the bed would be the hotel bed that she would stay in. The biggest, the biggest, the biggest jumbo. The biggest jumbo pizza and donuts, like covering her pussy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that was, and then like she even pioneered like Jennifer Lawrence, like hot celebrity women talking about how they eat a bunch of pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everyone was like, oh my God, they're like, I relate to them, which is kind of a good thing. And then everyone yeah. turned on them, the irony, the uh, girls and boys. and then Like us? Like us. I think she's like a, a mommy influencer now. Oh, good on her. Like yeah. your sister. She has a few kids. Yeah. <laughs> They should yeah, link. Yeah. You and your sister should link. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they should. I saw this on mildly infuriating today, the Reddit. Yeah. Where you post things that are like really infuriating. My stepdad takes pictures of fat people. My stepdad has been taking pictures of random fat people in public for like 20 years now, and he makes them screensaver pictures for the family computer. I have asked him why he does it. And how many pictures he has. He said he does it because he finds fat people funny and he has a folder with over 3,000 pictures. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I, that's not, I don't, I don't know if that's mildly infuriating or just she's something. I'm guessing she's fat. Oh. Uh, uh, but it, he has a fetish. Yes. Yes. Yeah. For sure. Setting as the wallpaper. Or he's just funny as hell. <laughs> Could either or. Either or. Yeah. Have you ever been caught taking a picture of somebody? Oh, probably. But you kind of like because there's you didn't. the photo of a, f a guy, the Chloe Grace Moritz. The, oh, the, that's the worst. Have you seen that photo? <laughs> no. So she was like uh, the like the incels really liked her because she was underage. Oh. And but like, she's like a champion of the opposite. Like she's an advocate for for women and hating men. And she uh, somebody took a photo of her. Uh, but they left their flash on, <laughs> so she's just looking right at the. Oh, it's brutal. God. That's awesome. It's my internet isn't loading the photo, but it ex find it. It exists. She's just Chloe like Grace. she just caught the people, but uh, because you, Kyle, took a picture of a guy in a Jets jersey, a very homeless man. And what was the name on the back of his Jets jersey? <laughs> I had to snipe. Uh, Wells Fargo. <laughs> it was so clean. Yeah. yeah. The Wells Fargo Jets jersey. <laughs> what number was it? It was like 82. Or yeah. Something. So it must have been the year. I don't know. But he was the guy was in the Wells Fargo Jets. <laughs> but uh, I want to get a jersey. I follow Javon Carter, who is now on the Bulls. Basketball player. Went to WVU. Defensive yeah. stalwart. But his dad... He threw out the first pitch at a no, uh, Javon Carter threw out the first pitch at a Brewers game, and his dad went, and he was wearing the best jersey of all time. And I need somebody to go to like the MLB store and get me one of these. But it's a Brewers jersey number twenty nine, but the back says "Real Black Man," <laughs> and I want it so <laughs> you bad. Need that. I need the Real Black Man twenty nine. <laughs> uh, I, I, could I wear that? No. I weirdly no. think that would be much more acceptable than if you had a real white man. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or any race. Wait, that's real the most white, acceptable real one white you can man wear. might be funny though. <laughs> <laughs> real white. Yeah, that, you, you have the cleanest getaway, if any. With yeah, black real, man. The real black man Brewers jersey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine like the high school kid having to make that for the NBA <laughs> player's dad in the store. <laughs> Is he like light skin? What was he going for? Oh, uh, he's like a real one, like not like the new <laughs> age. I think he's just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. What do you mean, like the new age? Like he's trying to flaunt that he's a real man. Who I get what you're saying. I get, uh, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. But you can't just say real man. That would make him seem trans. <laughs> <laughs> but real black yeah, man doesn't real apply. Real black trans man doesn't apply any trans. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're right. <laughs> Unbelievable. And there's like a French basketball player, which th I don't think this is funny. It drives me insane. His name is just like, ho, you're fucking fat. Or <laughs> it's not funny. His ho, you fat is his name. There's just, it is like, ho, that's you fucking fat. <laughs> no, his name isn't ho, you fat. His name's ho, you fat. That, and it's just like, that's so good that it's not. <laughs> so it's like, it's, yeah, it could have been divided by three. Oh, what, you fat. What do you mean divided by third? Like, that's too funny. <laughs> that is not. Yeah. That his, your name is Ho, you fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
What is his name? Is his last name or his full name? His, la- his last name, I think. Steve. <laughs> Steve, ho you fat. It's not like one word. It's three words, ho you fat. Y O U. There's no way. There's no, and it pisses me off because like Wikipedia even claims like that's <laughs> we're he's so French Guiana. There's no this. way he was. I know, but there's just no way. <laughs> Steve, how you fat? There's no fucking way that there was ever a line of how you fat. <laughs> <laughs> Spelled just like ho, you fat. <laughs> yeah. uh, Steve makes it even funnier. Yeah. Um, Mook, what other housekeeping do we have? Uh, Grease Week, three years ago in wow. July. Yeah, Man, we're going to have to. Feels like three and a half. Yeah, that feels forever ago. Yeah. Wow. That was like six months into me working here. Yeah. Crazy. Um, another housekeeping in your sister's blog, Doug Winoy's birthday yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Did you remember? Yes. Yeah, I'm on. I'm fucking clear head. I'm on. I'm, what you get him? Um, I still got a Venmo. My sister, a, a car camera. He wants to do like wind. Sh- uh, uh, you know, like um, you put it on your your dash, dash. Yeah, and you. Um, he wants to do that. Is he going to make content for? I'm this? sure for, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for Uber. Like Uber, he wants to do Uber content. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no! You know the guy. The guys who do it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> god, he's gonna he's gonna be huge. And I, I, I can feel it. Yeah. What else? Um, Piper check. How, how's the cat? cat? Yeah, yeah, fine. You That's like her? Annoying. I love her. Yeah. Are you back to loving her? Always have. Yeah. It's. It's. Yeah. What she do while you're scratching her asshole? <laughs> she look like she will look. <laughs> she she oh she is if any of us anyone in my apartment me or my girlfriend go to the bathroom she's so fast in there loves to watch us like watch you shit loves to watch yeah just looks in awe and then wa- loves to watch the toilet flush. But I don't I don't know how cats are so I don't I think she might be funny but I don't know other cats <laughs> <laughs> like she she knows she's fucking around. Yeah, I've never seen cats enough to know what's like standard funny and what's more funny than usual. Uh, I have two shout outs. Yeah. One for Sam Gruber. Uh, he found my parents on the beach in Hilton Head. My dad was wearing a <laughs> mook shirt <laughs> and uh, he dapped up my parents and got pictures with them. So shout out. To he got Sam. pictures of your parents. Yeah, he's a big well, anus guy. So. Oh, hell yeah. Sam Gruber and your parents. Good for both of them. And Papa Mook and Mama Feel Mook. Feel good moment for the fo- the folks. <laughs> So do you, does your dad look like you or what do they think? Do you think you were an, did he think that your dad was an anus fan or just, he had to assume it was one of our parents. He just saw the shirt. Yeah. I think the shirt is so polarizing that it's like, Oh, I have to talk to this person. Maybe. Yeah. Cause like, why else would you have it? Yeah. Um, so I guess maybe he thought he was an anus fan. But, okay. So shout out to Sam and then a shout out to my aunt Pam. Oh, oh yeah. big so, shout out yeah, for the, the phone call, the FaceTime, yeah. and then it continued after we were done recording. Yeah, you called her back. Yeah, we did a we did a tight fifteen on. Uh, oh, Jesus, all you're the, broken. All the topics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was her pain points? Is she bummed about RFK's the leaked uh, video? No, because she's a Donny Donny. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. She she likes RFK. I but. had no idea he was married to Cheryl Hines. Who's that? Larry David's wife. Oh and yeah. Kirk. Oh shit. Huh. What was the video, though? Uh, he said the vaccine uh, only has bad side effects for white people and. Oh, yeah. Chinese uh, but white people and black people. It, it it doesn't affect Jews or Chinese people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's probably, tough to win president with that. It might be uh, easy to win president he's like done that. for. And there, there's footage of this. Yeah. He probably has her screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after you had to fuck Larry David for so long. That was a show. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Uh, Kyle, uh, the interns came around today and they were just like, hey, if you were uh, stranded on a boat with three people, who would you pick? Who would you pick? Madison Beer, Glenn Quagmire, (laughs) my girlfriend. (laughs) Big three. (laughs) Would you trust Quagmire around your girl? (laughs) Uh, I mean we're stranded come on (laughs) you gotta expect something fireworks (laughs) 
<laughs> would you be pissed if you caught your girl fucking <laughs> quagmire? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I laugh about it now, but that would like ruin my life. <laughs> like I would not be able to come into the office. I would like confidence would be shot. Um, I would have a crisis. God damn. Someone DM me. They said they saw a girl at a party in like Jefferson, Iowa, wearing a the untell untell this bitch shirt. Hell what? Fuck yeah. yeah. Damn. Let's go. We we're having such a hang up on the KB face shirts because they can't find a large enough image. Like they even contacted Kent State for no way. <laughs> but we're just like make it blurry as yeah, fuck. That's care. perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah, I mean, we need that out. We need that out ASAP. We got to do some Discord love soon. Yes, for yeah. sure. Whether. Oh, yeah. I want to see more of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've, I've been so busy. I've been traveling. I've been ignoring the Discord, but I like all those guys. I'll check in every once in a while. But uh, yeah. Any- uh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, no, no, anything else? Uh, Two content things. Out of order. If you're listening now, yeah, we'll watch that. Out. I'm sure. Yeah. Nikki is in it. And oh. then uh, Game Oh, Man. I might get in trouble for this sketch, I think. Oh, yeah? I play a pedophile. <laughs> Believe me, you're allowed to do that. Yeah, you can do that. All right. And then Game Night uh, came out yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're filming another one of those pretty soon. Yeah. Um, Watch that. It was just, I was talking to a Kyle, and I was just like, when I first started working here, I thought uh, good content would be me being miserable. And now I'm just starting to do stuff I like doing. And that That's fine, too. It's fine, too. Yeah. I'm still going to do the miserable stuff. Yeah. Like this. Uh, I like <laughs> Yeah. I didn't give uh, the Wisconsin area, the southwestern Wisconsin area, enough love. I think it's one of the best areas. I've only been to Madison once, but from what I've seen and heard, one of the most underrated and the best areas in the country. Wisconsin Dells, the the French-sounding cities, Madison. um, That... I tried to find a football coach. None of them have an Instagram. Mm -hmm. The mayor's... Madison's mayor, Sacha Rose Conway, hear, hear me out, July 5th, but we're not doing her, but none of the other mayors had Instagram. What was the hear me out? I don't know. I just had to say that. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's props it. props to them. Uh, anything else, boys? What's, what's, what's the 19th? No. Yeah. We're good? No more housekeeping. Yet. No more housekeeping. Nope. All right. God bless. Ch-ch-ch.